Hey everyone, and welcome to this video on cutting machines. I know this video may seem super basic, but I get this question all of the time. What is a cutting machine? Is it a printer? Do you use ink? Does it use pens? How is it a laser? So I wanted to break down everything back to the basics on what a cutting machine is. So if you are a long time Cricut or Silhouette or even Brother Scan and Cut user, this video might not be for you. But to all my newbies out there that don't own a cutting machine yet, and you wanna know about cutting machines in general, I won't tell you what, which one to buy or how to use it, but I'll just tell you what it is and kind of how it works. My name is Carly Hall, and for the last several years, I have worked for both Silhouette and Cricut on their project design and education teams, teaching people how to craft. So now I'm here doing my own thing, educating you on what to buy, how to use it, and really to get the most out of your crafting experience. So let's dive in. I have three machines in front of me today. This is the Cricut Maker, this is the Cricut Cuddlebug, and this is a Silhouette Cameo 3. While I'm not gonna go over how to use every different thing on the machines, I just wanted you to get the basics on the difference between a manual die cutting machine and a digital cutting machine. So let's jump right in and I will show you how the cuddle bug works. So here is a closer look at the cuddle bug. Like I mentioned, this is a manual die cutting machine. You can see that it opens up just like that and it kind of suctions down onto your table. And there is a hand crank that you use to actually crank your material through. In addition to your hand cranking, you have a thing called plates and dies. So let's move this out of the way so you can see all of the different plates. So this is considered a stack of material. So we have different plates and I won't go through all of them, but basically the plates work together to cut your material you also use metal dies. This is a die that will actually cut through the paper and allow you to make really cool designs. So I'll run this one through my cuddle bug so you can see how it works. After everything has been run through the cuddle bug, you can open up your plates and you can see here depending on which portion of the design you want. This is an Anna Griffin fancy corners, and you can use tools to pop out the inside. And these are really fun because in addition to just die cutting, you can actually run them through and emboss them as well. But for the purposes of this demo, I'll just show you that this is what you get with your die. And I gotta put that on the corner and it would have been a fancy corner like the die name suggests. So you can see that the limitations with dies is that you are restricted to whatever size the die comes in. You can't resize it or manipulate it and you're hand placing, hand cranking, and hand cutting. There are several different manual die cutting machines on the market, including the Cricut Cuddlebug. But in addition, you also have electric um, die, manual die cutting machines, which basically it's motorized so it will run your material through and you do not have to crank it. There's other manual ones on the market, like Big Shot by Sizzix. So if you are looking for metal dies and embossing folders that you can manually use, then a manual die cutting machine might be the best option for you. All right, so that is a manual die cutting machine. Like I mentioned, they are great for these metal dies. The only limitation really is that you do have to buy every shape and size of the dies that you want to cut. So if you wanted to cut a small hair bow out of leather and run it through your die cutting machine, and then you wanted to make larger ones, you would need different size dies for that. The benefits here are that you can cut, cut through really, really thick material and you can add texture um, debossing and embossing to your paper projects, your leather projects, and fun things like that. It also does have a very small footprint. There are machines that are bigger. 
um, but it's relatively small and relatively inexpensive depending on the machine that you go with. So there are a ton of positives. This was actually my first cutting machine that I got and I purchased it because I wanted to make faux leather, leather, let's try that again. I wanted to make faux letter press invitations. So what I did is I actually cut out letters, glue them onto a piece of paper and then use it as an embossing folder. So you have a lot of possibilities with a small little machine. Let's move on to the electronic cutting machines. Moving on to the electronic cutting machines, there are so many on the market and I will do a head-to-head -head comparison on the Cricut machines versus the Silhouette machines, since those are the machines I'm most familiar with. But since machines are all very similar, we will open it up and take a look. Inside, you'll see this little device here. And this is what carries your blade back and forth and your device or computer will control where this goes and tell your Cricut machine what to cut. This is the fine point blade and this blade will cut through your materials. It is auto adjusting similar to the silhouette blade, which I'll show you here. Both blades auto adjust and know the depth to set themselves to cut through your material. So you don't have to worry about setting this. Um, both the Silhouette Cameo 3 and the Cricut machines will set those to the correct depth. So once your blade is installed, really the rest of the machine capabilities come from the online software. So let's take a look at that. Let's start with our Cricut Maker by clicking New Project. Now we are on a thing called the canvas and the main point that I wanted to call out here is that the Cricut, the Silhouette, the Brother Scan and Cut, they all allow you to use any font on your computer. So you can see I can choose system fonts and I can use any of my fonts on my Cricut and that's the same for the Silhouette Cameo 3. I can also use all the images that Cricut provides and you can see there's a price associated to them. Again, very similar for the Cameo. I'll do a full comparison video, but for the sake of this video, I just want to make sure that you understand that you can cut any font on your computer and you can use images provided by Cricut and Silhouette, or you actually have the option to upload your own images as long as they are these file types. So we are going to just cut a basic shape these are free and we will add a heart to our canvas. Now, unlike a die cutting machine that's manual with metal dies, you're restricted to one size. But with electronic cutting machines, you can actually resize them up to the restrictions of your cutting machine. So depending on the size of your machine, you're limited to the size of how big you can cut. But you can see that I can resize this heart to be whatever dimensions I want, and then I can cut it. I can also change the color of the material that I'll be using. I'm using white, so we'll change it to white. This is all very, very user-friendly, and I'll do the exact same thing on the Cameo as well. We're gonna click Make It, and then we will cut it. Once you've connected to your machine, you choose the material that you're using and the Cricut will tell you what to do next. Over at our machine, we're going to load our cardstock onto a special machine mat that holds the material in place while the machine cuts it. We'll load this into our machine. And then click cut. Once the machine's done cutting, we can unload the mat and check out our cut. A perfect heart every single time. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the Silhouette Cameo 3 so you can see just how similar the machines work. 
I'm in Silhouette Studio and we are going to bring a heart onto our canvas. And you can see that I can just bring that in and move it around just the same way. The main difference is that you're working on your actual cutting mat, but other than that, very, very similar. We can resize this one to be three inches as well, and we'll put it right in the upper left-hand corner of our mat. When we're ready to send it to our machine, we click send, and we'll choose that we're using cardstock. and the action is cut and we have the auto blade in. You can see that it already tells us what settings to use and we have to make sure that it's in the right tool holder. We will load our material onto Silhouette's cutting mat and then we will load it into the machine just like we did with our Cricut. From the software, we will send the project. The blade begins to auto adjust and then cuts your material. And once it's done, you can unload your project. And there you go. I hope that after seeing the Cricut Maker cut and the Cameo 3 cut these hearts out, that it makes a little bit more sense about what an electronic cutting machine actually is. I know that there's so many different machines out there that, you know, laser cutters, die cutters, manual die cutters, electronic die cutters. Um, so I think it makes a little bit more sense seeing how they actually work and how you use the software to get them up and cutting. Now, some things that I want you to take away from this video. I will do a whole comparison on what I love about the Cameo and what I love about the Maker in a different video. That is a whole another story. But my main takeaways here are that you can use any image on both of these machines and upload them to the software and then cut. So you're not limited to just basic shapes. You can cut any font, any images, or you can use the images that are already available in Cricut's design store or Silhouette's design store if you're not a designer. I'm by no means an artist. I don't even think I'm that crafty, but using cutting machines has allowed me to become a crafty person. So if you're on the fence because you don't think you're crafty, just wait because your friends will be knocking on your door asking you for all sorts of help. So maybe don't tell them that you bought a machine and we'll just, you can just tell me and we'll talk about cutting machines. So um, yes, you can cut anything, any font, any image. Let's talk about materials really quick. We just did a basic demo on cardstock, but if you have been browsing on Pinterest and that's what led you to this video, materials. You can cut so many hundreds of materials. And you'll notice that both of the machines don't have any type of dial on them and you pick the materials in the software because there's so many materials that you can cut. My favorites include vinyl. So vinyl is a plastic sticker-like material that you can put on mugs, your cars, your walls, anything, really any surface that you want to cut um, and make a sticky sticker, you can cut using vinyl. So both machines can cut vinyl. You can also cut a thing called heat transfer vinyl or iron on. And that is the type of material that you would cut and then apply to your t-shirts, sweatshirts, um, really any clothing, hats, shoes, um, with an iron or an easy press or a heat press, any type of heating device. So if you're looking to make apparel, this will absolutely make it a ton easier. Even if you wanna go into screen printing, people use vinyl to make screen prints. So, um, you can cut iron on as well. Then you also, of course, can cut your cardstock for school projects, for cards, for scrapbooking, for planner um, planning, for bullet journaling, so many different things. And then we can just list and list and list and list the materials. So if you're interested to see the complete list of materials that you can cut, check out Cricut.com or SilhouetteAmerica.com because they will have all of the materials that you can cut. I think that's everything that I wanted you to take away. 
So yeah, you can use your laptop or computer, your devices, tablets, or even your cell phone to Bluetooth to both of these machines and cut wirelessly. So you are not limited to just using a computer and you can use all those fonts that are already on those devices. There's so much that I can talk about with cutting machines. So if you have questions or anything really, just drop a comment below and I'm happy to answer them. I also have a Facebook group and I'll put my social links below as well. So if you want to chat all things cutting machines and crafting, you can get in touch with me. Thanks so much for checking out this video. Like I said, stay tuned for a comparison video. I'm so excited to take these machines head to head um, because I think you'll be surprised with what I have to say. After working at both companies, I have a lot of insight on what I like and what I don't like. So make sure that you subscribe and if you want notifications, ring the bell, turn that little bell on so that you're notified every single time I post a new video. All right, I'll see you next time.